Hello, once again YouTube, <coughs> and welcome to another video, and today we are looking at Davros, yes, this is Davros, the creator of, god damn it, no, not of, of, of god damn it, of this thing. Right here. The Dark. Extra. The creator of the Daleks. <coughs> so yes, this is him from Stolen Earth and Journeys, and they did create classic who versions of this guy, but I don't have them unfortunately, which is a pain in the ass well, to get them now. Yes, this is it. This is how he appeared in. So, and this is also a story time. <coughs> Are you ready, kids? Long time ago, not in a galaxy far, far away. Actually, a galaxy that's really here. There was a man called Davros. And his civilization was... Let's just say they were called Carlits. Carlits were were fighting a war with the Falls. The Falls were uh, with Carlits only different, and they were fighting in a, a thousand years war, war uh, until the fa and 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 Davros was either. Supposed to be a soldier, warrior, or a scientist, a savior of some sorts. He, his father encouraged him to be a soldier. His his mother encouraged encouraged him to be a to be a scientist. Guess which path he took. Scientist. Well, technically, he first started with the soldier one, but and he got a little bit bored of it, so he. But he had to do that. He, he created weapons and machinery for the files to get what he wants. Now, everybody else was against his ideas, except for his mother in his family. So, his mother and himself encouraged him to kill every family member except for his mother. <coughs> now, now, this is before he had no eyes. Well, let's explain why he has no eyes and has no legs and has no hand on there. Yeah. The reason why is because he was in a terrible accident which paralyzed him in the way by the blur. It was basically a bomb cell by fall and it exploded and his eyes were were gone his hand was gone his his legs were gone which is not a good thing when you try to create something like this and he also got really mutated so he started to augment himself he created this chair, and then he created the eye. I don't know if it went like that. And he has his 
best friend, Nida, aka Spanner. Uh, yeah, I call him Spanner. Criticize me all you want, YouTube comments. I will. <laughs> I will fight you to the death. And these, the, uh, and he creates the Daleks, and then that's when uh, the fourth Doctor comes in Genesis of the Daleks, <coughs> and hijinks six ensue. Ha ha ha! And then after that, the Daleks, not in this form, not in this form here, in this form, even though it's before this. Form, which this was in the 60s and that was in the 70s, so that makes no sense because it's supposed to be a prequel to the Daleks and these came first. And oh my god, I'm on cross eyed! Ah! Anyway, the Daleks keep exterminating him and his co worker and went into position of power and then a few years later after all the Dalek stories up until that point <laughs> uh, the Daleks discovered Davros and Skara and because they're trying to fight him to help the for their war effort against the Movellans. It didn't work out and Davros was <sighs> frozen in a block and then and then the Daleks do not like Davros for some reason. And he tries to condition the Daleks to like him. And and then he try and then that didn't work and then he tried to uh well create his own Daleks which weren't using colored tissue, so the Daleks hated it on Necros and pretended that he was still alive. So yeah. And then he was, and he was blown up inside of his ship. Uh, and then he returned in the new series. And then again, uh, and that's the story of Davros. That took longer than expected. Let's take a look at him. As you can see, it's pretty detailed, and it basically has the basic articulation of a Dalek. Well. Here it does. As you can see, it can go all. It can go there. It can rotate, but not fully, because if you did, I think it would break his neck. Go that way as well, but yeah, his arm can go all the way round. Yeah, and so can this, but it can't really. Like it can go all the way round there. And also, you can bend there, that way, the, the, the hand can go all the way around. You didn't have a metallic hand at the beginning. And, and, for the articulation, well, what are you going to expect for a man that doesn't have a, that doesn't have a hand or legs? <laughs> The detail on this, it looks like it came out, the episode it came from, which I think was Journey's End and Stole, uh, Stolen Earth and Journey's End, which is ama- it, it, the detail is amazing, unfortunately his thingamajiggies that covered this but part of his shoulder are gone, also on there as well, due to me being an idiot when I was uh, nine, eight, seven years old, I can't remember now, but that was all good, especially on here, for a figure of this size, they managed to put all the bits and bobs and even the thing in the jig that can kill him, if you press it on it uh, a little bit hard, it can die which is a stupid idea like he can kill himself by just pressing one of his buttons that's kind of stupid especially if you want to rule the Daleks the detail is amazing it looks like it came out of it 
of the episode. This is a very short review because the backs, most of the review was taken up by the backstory. But I'm still going to label it as a review. Nearly down there or there or there or there. I don't know what's going on these days on YouTube. And don't s say that I have done a face reveal. I haven't done a face reveal. That's not even... <sighs> Calm down, Robert. Calm down. You'll give them a face reveal at the end of the year or sometime after the end of the year. So, overall, what do I think of this figure? <clears throat> it's a pretty good figure, I would say. It looks exactly like it. Him. Though, kind of doesn't really because the mask kind of looks like oh you can see my face I oh my lord the the mask kind of there I hope you can see that Huh. Uh, anyway, we got a face reveal. Hooray! We got a face reveal. Oh my god. Damn it! This is a good figure. You definitely should buy it at the risk of losing all your money because this is not on store shelves anymore because it was made in 2008. So, buy it and lose all your money. This has been another advent calendar, uh, another Christmas countdown review. I'll see you tomorrow with another thingy majiggy. Goodbye.